you can turn good systematic trading strategies into great systematic trading strategies. Strategies that look more like real hedge fund caliber trading systems and have a much better chance of generating big trading profits in real time. And you can do all this with entry filters. Today we'll talk about how these filters work and I'll demonstrate how you can implement them into any systematic trading strategy. And these entry filters are fully available to anyone who signs up for an annual subscription at peakalgo.com so you can build better strategies, analyze better strategies, and trade better strategies. So entry filters, let's get into it. Hi everyone, it's Dave Wickham from Peak Trading Research and today we are talking about the number one tool that you can use to turn good systematic trading strategies into great systematic trading strategies. When you have a very basic trading system, for example, a breakout system or a mean reversion system or a momentum trading system, you are following a very simple set of rules. For example, with a simple breakout system, you are buying higher highs and selling short lower lows with the hope that on a long enough timeline, that's a profitable trading approach. But maybe that's not always the right approach. Maybe there are certain scenarios in which you don't wanna buy higher highs and don't wanna sell short lower lows. What if you could find out what those bad situations are? What if you could use filters to weed out those bad trading setups? For example, maybe your simple breakout system shouldn't be trying to buy high higher highs if it's a Friday or if it's before 10 in the morning or if trading volumes are dropping or if volatility is increasing. We can test all that. We can use filters to answer the question, should we be avoiding that trading setup? The peak filters that we'll talk about today test hundreds of different market scenarios and price patterns to find what are those situations that you might want to avoid to increase your system's profitability. So you get a sense for what these filters are, how they could help us avoid bad trading setups. Now let's look at a practical example for the heating oil market where we can take a good breakout trading system and turn it into a great breakout trading system. There are four simple steps that we are going to follow. First, we are going to add the peak filter script to our strategy. Next, we are going to test the entry filters. We are then going to permanently move the filters into our strategy. And finally, we are going to remove the filter script that we added earlier. So let's jump into TradeStation and look at a very simple breakout strategy for the heating oil market market on 240 minute bars. What this strategy does is it buys higher highs looking back at the last 50 bars and it sells short lower lows looking also back at the last 50 bars. The strategy then exits so it either sells the position or buys to cover that heating oil position using a slightly different length, a shorter length of only 15 bars. There's also a profit target of $3,000 per contract and a stop loss of a fifth of that $3,000 per contract, so $600 per contract. And if we look at some performance statistics, we can see a nice upward sloping equity curve. So cumulative profits have accrued nicely over time with very few drawdowns. And this system has made about $128,000, including slippage and including commission costs over the past 10 years. So we know we're starting with a pretty good breakout strategy in heating oil. Now let's add the peak filter script so that we can start testing which of those filters we ultimately want to add to the strategy to make it even better. So this is what the peak filter script looks like that we'll be adding to our strategy. What we're going to do is take this simple script and wrap it around the very first entry that we want to test. So to do that, we simply copy the script, we paste it into our strategy to wrap it around the very first entry, and now we confirm and we are good to go. We can now test different entry filters on that first entry. Now you'll see in our strategy, we have a new input called the filter input. What we're going to do is we are going to optimize that new input with a value from one to 500 to see which of those price patterns or market scenarios we should best be avoiding in our strategy. Our optimization is now done running. If we look at 
our optimization report and sort by net profit, we can see that the two best filters are number 141 and number 91. So we've run our optimization test across hundreds of different market scenarios and price patterns. And it tells us that number 91 and number 141 are the filters that work best. Those are the market scenarios that we want to avoid to improve the performance of our strategy. So let's move on to step number three. Let's find those filters, look at what they are and move them permanently into our breakout strategy code. We now want to find the strategy code for the filters that we're looking for. So we go to our peak filter function. And remember, we want to look for filter number 91. There it is. If the ADX value is greater than 30, that is a situation that we want our code to avoid. So here we write if ADX greater than 30 equals false. And next we want to look for the other filter that worked well for us. That was number 141. So there it is. This is an up range filter. Again, we simply copy the filter. We paste the actual strategy code into our strategy as a situation we want to avoid. So false. And we tell our script to begin if both of those filters are false. Now, if we confirm our strategy, we can immediately see the impact that this has on strategy performance. There we go. We can see our equity curve looks even better. This strategy has now made $175,000, including slippage, including commission costs, instead of the $128,000 from just the simple code. We can now repeat this process that we did for the buying entry on the selling short entry. So again, we just wrap our testing script around the sell short entry. We confirm our strategy and we're going to optimize that same filter value from a value of one to 500 to test those 500 different market scenarios and price patterns. Our optimization is now done running. Same process as before. We take the filters that performed best and we simply paste those filters from the function into our strategy and confirm that strategy. Now, if we jump back into a strategy performance report, we can see that performance continues to improve. Those filters are working. We now have an even better equity curve now making a little over $180,000 over the past 10 years. Now for step number four, we can jump back into our strategy and remove the filter script that we had added earlier just to clean things up a little bit. If we confirm our strategy, go we'll look at a strategy performance report, we can see that the strategy is unchanged, right? It's the same performance. So we've now done a good job of cleaning up our strategy to use going forward with those new filters. So we now have what looks like a pretty good systematic trading strategy for the heating oil market. We took a good, simple breakout trading strategy and turned it into a great filtered breakout strategy. This strategy looks like a great profitable hedge fund caliber breakout systematic trading system. This back tested strategy has made positive profits, including the realistic costs of market slippage and brokerage commissions in 11 of the past 12 years. Now, the big question here is this optimization. Are we over optimizing our trading system by using these filters and therefore guaranteeing that the strategy will not work very well going forward? And the answer is not really. We're not tweaking the inputs and over optimizing the inputs of the trading system to get that perfect backward looking equity curve. We're not over optimizing inputs. Rather, we're using filters to avoid bad trading setups, situations in which it's just not profitable to establish a trading position. So we end up trading less, but the situations where we do trade are are more profitable trading setups, which is a pretty good situation to be in. And something very cool about these filters is that these filters will often work across a lot of different markets. For example, this exact strategy, same code, same input values, same filters also works in heating oil, in gold, in platinum and crude oil. That should give you more confidence that we've truly taken a good breakout trading strategy 
and turned it into a great breakout strategy, a strategy that works across a lot of different markets. And of course, this full peak filter code is 100% available to you if you sign up for an annual subscription at peakalgo.com. Start building better strategies, testing better strategies, and trading better strategies, peakalgo.com. Thanks for your time and we'll see you soon.